Hello, my name is Host Eric. Welcome to Talking with Famous People. Tonight, I'm going to talk about two distinct things. I'm going to talk about YouTube strategies, and I'm going to talk about finding cool little rocks. The reason I'm going to choose the second of those two topics is it segues, it helps me to explain my YouTube strategies, right? Alright, so this YouTube strategy video is about accumulating views and to think about views as a resource that accumulates over time and to prioritize well tagged content that's accurately tagged and also that um, that you can get up quickly okay so time is of the essence here if you want to implement the talking with famous people plan then you're going to need to put up a lot of videos, and ideally on a disparate array of subjects. The reason for this being, of course, that there are multiple modalities through which YouTube directs traffic. Now, I've talked about these stuff before in another video, and I don't want to be too redundant. I don't want to repeat myself too much. I just generally don't like to, as an ENTV personality type, which is another subject I talk about a lot. I don't like to repeat myself too explicitly. But I do want to stress that the key thing here is consistency, frequency, quantity. You want to be putting up videos all the time. And there are tons of opportunities in your day that afford you a chance to record a video and put it up when you otherwise wouldn't be doing anything productive at all. Like driving is the perfect example. If you're driving somewhere, why aren't you making a video? It's easy enough to make one. It's easy enough to upload. The question, of course, comes into play. Editing. Do you want to edit? Well... I like to edit some, but here's a trick I'm using right now. I have two laptops. I'm recording on this laptop. I am editing on this laptop right now, except I have to wait for this file to prepare in Windows Movie Maker. This particular video file gave me trouble when I put it in Premiere Pro. The audio got off sync with the video. I wasn't sure why. Brought it into Movie Maker. We're going to see how that flies. I don't know. I was feeling irritated by... I'm just trying to get some chunks out of this thing because it's 30 minutes. I know better than to make a 30 minute video. See, this is the other thing. If you're thinking YouTube strategies, don't make that 30 minute video if you can avoid it. Make it into five minute chunks because the files are going to be so much easier to deal with. So if you were to be making a YouTube video that was adhering to this, you'd need some sort of subject matter. And for me, I want to provide new ideas in each of the videos. I want to repeat myself as little as possible. So, uh, it's inadequate for me to simply go over and explain again, although a certain re-presentation of it is necessary for uh, newcomers to the video. You can't assume people have seen your other videos, right? So, there's, there's going to be some repetition inherent. But I do like to bring new ideas into, into the fray on each of these videos. So, cool little rocks. Why are cool little rocks so cool? And why is it important to find cool little rocks in your life? Let me look at this for our kid. Looks like the state of California, see? But what's cool about it, and I will show you with a little platform here. Yeah. Okay, so what's cool about this cool little rock is, uh, watch. What you want, in general, as a general matter of principle, you want rocks that you can set things on, okay? Like this. Yeah, see, now I've got a cigarette. Now, I'm a smoker. I frequently do have a cigarette going, you know. Let's tilt the camera. It's probably a lot more sensible than the nonsense I'm attempting to do. Yeah, okay. So, I'm smoking. Bum, 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 I'm smoking. And then... Oh, gosh. I want to put this down somewhere. I don't want to just lie down on the desk. Oh, that's right. I got a cool little rock for that purpose. But sometimes, what if you're a cigar smoker? Let's say you're a cigar smoker, and this little rock isn't big enough for your big cigar. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Well, one little rock really isn't enough. This one is a bigger rock, you'll see here that I have, that I have on my desk, that I put things on of this fashion. 
There's lots of things you can put on a little rock. First of all, let me note, let me point this out. This little rock fits here quite nicely. So I can combine the two. This little rock fits here in a number of different ways. It doesn't have to be the way I showed you. It could be like that. So that's always nice. It doesn't fit perfectly, but it's a good fit. And they do they do seem to uh, get along well, so to speak, aesthetically. That's probably how it fits best. You can see it's even got a little crack. I don't know if you can see that or not. But anyway, this big rock, we have other things sometimes you want to set down, like things that are hot or um, things that are sharp, things that are sticky. Uh, the other thing this rock does, which is really nice, and this is why when you get a cool rock like this, you got to spend a little time with it to see what it can provide for you in terms of utility. This particular little rock functions beautifully as a knife sharpener. And you'll notice it's got several different coarsenesses. Then this coarseness right here is for your rough sharpening. Okay. But then when you get to the final stage, this is the part you sharpen right here. And you can see it's nice and flat. It's got some little ridges. It doesn't seem to cause any problems for my knife sharpening. And it works quite well. The knife gets sharper. It's quite sharp now, actually. And um, did I know when I got this cool little rock that I could do that with this? No, I didn't know that. I just thought, well, that's a cool rock. I'm going to take that. And I didn't know I was going to be doing that with it, you know. <laughs> no, Lacey, stay down. Um, and, you know, there's lots of things you can put on this rock. You can put... <laughs> you can put this. Put this on this rock. A little hat. This works as a... All sorts of things. This, this is a very useful thing right there. <laughs> and... And so, eight minutes later, you see that I have made a video that is literally about something. It's about, and it's going to include knife sharpening. It's going to include uh, cigarette uh, disposal or cigarette positioning. I don't know how I would tag that. We call this uh, cigarette safety. This is a cigarette safety issue because, look. I'm showing you how to be safe with your cigarettes using cool rocks that you find. Okay, so it's about cool rocks. This is probably granite, I guess. So I'm going to call it granite. I'm not lying. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I'm calling it granite. This one... I don't know what that is, but... I call it California rock, because it looks like California. This is going to have the word California in the tags. Um, shaped like California. And anyway, uh, then people will happen upon this video. Maybe they'll happen on here from YouTube strategies. Maybe they'll happen on here from search. Maybe they'll get here from suggested videos. Maybe they'll get here from autoplay. I don't know. Who knows how YouTube works? <laughs> not, not me. So what I do know is that if I put up a shitload of videos and I tag them out and they're honestly tagged, I'm not lying, and that... Uh, they're about something, which this video is about something. Whether you think it's worth being about or not, it's about little rocks, finding cool rocks, and what you can do with them, right? And it's it's also about YouTube strategies. So it's a double whammy. I'm uh, I I got singing, dancing, acting, and what is what are the other ones I do? So under ten minutes is fine. That's not asking too much patience, people. Have a great evening. I hope you enjoyed my video on little rocks. Seriously, try to find a couple of cool little rocks to put on your desk, and you'll find them. You'll find multiple uses for them. I can't even think of all the ways they use them. I use them all the time. Have a great evening, as I said. Have a Merry Christmas. Have a Happy Holidays if you're not a Christmas person. And uh, don't forget to eat plenty of G's. Helps you grow big and strong. And tune in next time for more Talking with Famous People.